Hi, today we're going to learn about the empirical rule in statistics. So before we get started, let's first figure out what the empirical rule is. The empirical rule is also called the 68-95-99 rule. So what does this mean? Well, basically, these correspond with standard deviations. This is one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations. So now, how does this relate to anything? Well, the empirical rule deals with the normal distribution. So the normal distribution is the type of curve the type of curve that looks something like this. And here we have the center. So that's the center. Now the empirical rule basically tells us what percent of the data lies within some deviation from the mean, or some deviation from the center. And this isn't a very good drawing because the center's tilted. So let's assume that this looks like a normal distribution. And let's say that this is where the center was. So basically, one standard deviation away from the mean occurs somewhere around here. This is one standard deviation. This is two standard deviations. This would be three standard deviations. Now here would be negative one standard deviations, negative two standard deviations, and then here would be negative three standard deviations. So, we know that the standard deviation is some value that we can get from the calculator or from the formula. But what the empirical rule tells us is that this percentage of the data, so it tells us that this is, six, uh, this is 68 percent of the data. So between negative one standard deviation and one standard deviation away from the center, we have 68 percent of the data lies there. Now, between two standard deviations away from the center, so from negative two standard deviations to two standard deviations, that's where 95% lie. Oh, whoops, that didn't go far enough. That's where 95% of the data lies. And then finally, from three, negative three standard deviations to three standard deviations, we have 99% of the data. We got 99% of the data. So this is basically all the empirical rule tells us. It tells us within one standard deviation of the center or of the mean, we have 68% of the data, or 68% of the area under the curve. Within two standard deviations, we have 95%. And within three standard deviations, we have 99%. Now let's take a look at something different that's just a little bit off this or a little bit of a tangent. This is basically how we know these values. So if we think about the standard, uh, if we think about the standard distribution curve, and if we think about it having probabilities, so instead of having values, it has probabilities because we can use standard de uh, st the standard distribution curve to show centers or means, but also probabilities. So if the center is a probability then that means that the total area under the curve would have to be 1, right? So what that would mean is that if the area under the curve is 1, then the area between negative uh, 1 standard deviation and 1 standard deviation would be 0.65. Two standard deviations away from the mean would be, or from the center proportion, would be 95%. And three standard deviations away would be 99%. So this is basically the empirical rule. Now this has implications in confidence intervals also, but that's for a different video. Today we learned about the empirical rule in statistics. Thank you for watching this video.